Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Well, today I want to talk about, uh, you know, common symptoms and most of the time we resort to taking painkillers and we resort to taking medication without trying to treat the pain naturally. So when it comes to colic, especially in babies, today it's very common for moms to give the, the child medication immediately and even put them on mild medication to reduce acidity and gas. We need to understand that colic is is very natural in a baby's life, in a small kid's life. I mean, if acidity is so rampant amongst adults, col uh, colic is also very common with babies and there's a way to treat it and we get that wisdom from our ancestors again. Now, when you look at menstrual irregularities, when you look at ovarian cyst pain, when you look at liver pain, when you look at you know, uh, uterine fibroids, all of these contain, uh, uh, consist of a little bit of pain that comes through. Today, we're not gonna talk about the internal part of the body, we're gonna talk about the external part and one simple lifestyle change that you can make to reduce that pain. We need to understand that pain is caused by inflammation. So now when there's a colic in a baby or you have any of these symptoms, including digestive issues where you have external abdominal pain, popping pill after pill, I'm not against medication. If you need to take a painkiller or a pill, take it. But if you're making it a, ha a habit without changing your lifestyle, you should understand that every painkiller you take and every medication you take has a side effect. We know the direct correlation of overuse of painkillers and the kidney damage that it creates, the connection with high blood pressure and so many other conditions. So what is the solution? The solution is something as simple as castor oil. Now castor oil has been used for decades and decades across civilizations. Castor oil when applied, we're talking about external, we are not talking about internal. When we are talking about the external application, so when you have a baby who's crying all night with colic and gas, simply taking castor oil and massaging the abdominal area around the navel, a little bit in the, in the navel and the lower and upper abdominal area, and then covering that with a, you know, maybe with an old t-shirt or a piece of cloth, because you should know that castor oil will stain your clothing and then covering them up with a bed sheet or their, their, whatever they're wearing. You have to understand that castor oil has the ability to seep through the skin into the lymphatic system, which means it's excellent also for the lymphatic system. Castor oil improves the blood circulation and can also heal damaged and inflamed tissues below your skin level. Now you'll be wondering how can something external impact the internal? Well, it's simple. We use moisturizers and a lot of women and men use moisturizers and face creams and oils. Why? Because it seeps through the skin. It has the ability to seep through your skin. Below your skin, you have a cushion of tissues, muscles, and blood vessels. So castor oil has this ability to reduce your pain when you apply it externally. So women, when they go through irregular uh, menstrual cycles, okay? We're not talking about during your period cycle. During your period cycle, it's not, recommend, it's not recommended that you use castor oil to massage your abdominal area. We're talking about irregular periods, okay? When you have ov ovarian cysts, when you have uterine fibroids, this creates a lot of abdominal pain. So besides your internal treatment, that's a whole different video, your diet, your exercise, and everything else, to immediately reduce the pain, you can have castor oil massaged into your stomach very lightly around your abdominal area. Even when you have pain caused by indigestion externally, like the cramping pain that you have, you can use castor oil to basically massage this area. For people who are highly, highly constipated, besides looking at your water, your fiber, how sedentary you are, also using castor oil the night before to massage your entire abdominal area, the lower abdominal area, just above the pubic area as well. Okay, that will give you some amount of relief with constipation as well. Liver. A lot of people who have fatty livers, a lot of people who have cirrhotic livers, the liver tends to get really, really hard over here and you find a complete hardening over here. So you can use external castor oil again to massage that area because it will be absorbed to the tissues and the muscles below, giving you some amount of relief and reducing your inflammation. Now again, pregnant women, want, you want to avoid this for pregnant women at all costs. For, for people who have arthritis and joint pain as well, castor oil again is an anti-inflammatory application that you can use very simply. A simple test is if you take a little bit of castor oil and you put it on your face before you sleep at night, when you wake up in the morning, you will find that your skin has absorbed all of that castor oil. You need just a little bit. It's a thick viscous oil and that shows you how well castor oil can be absorbed into your system. So it be it babies, be it adults, be it teenagers, be it the elderly out there, when you have this kind of abdominal pain, before you jump to painkillers and all the other medication, try something as simple as natural. You know, you should build your own kitchen pharmacy by keeping things like spices, things like coconut oil, things like uh, castor oil. Because we spoke previously about the intake of castor oil, how it can help you relieve 
your constipation and how it can also help you with intestinal contractions in case you have a lazy intestine syndrome where you make where you pass a stool but you still feel that you've not evacuated completely so today's video is only on the external application all of these pains that are caused over here whether it's in your joints your abdominal area you can use castor oil as the best treatment this is just this is best done after your shower when you're tucked into bed you want to massage yourself with this cover yourself with an old cloth or a t-shirt because like i said castor oil will stain your clothing and just sleep let it be absorbed through and it should be able to do its magic in most cases until next time have a great day until next time eat smart move more sleep right and breathe deep